Hi, you guys. So, other day. So, this dream I had on May 2nd. And I felt bad because I haven't put it out. But, I, in the dream, I was in, I was like in a Walmart. Okay. If you guys is Walmart, where you where they keep the drinks at, if they have now like these industrial type things, something like you would see in Sam's Club, as far as stocking, they don't have the water and stuff on like regular shelves, like regular food shelves. They have them on these big industrial looking steel shelves, okay, that are, you know, that are able to stack cases and cases and cases, okay. So in the dream, I seen this and I heard stock up. And in the dream, I was like in the water aisle or the drinks aisle, okay? And I seen big cases of probably, I believe, were water on top. And then on the second shelf, I seen these bottles of V8. Um, I can't remember if it was like the infusion or like the regular V8, but just red bottles of V8. And then under, so underground, okay? I was able to see like underground, like in a basement type thing or a tunnel, if you will. I was, a, I was able to see underground of this Walmart, not like standing up, it, it seemed as if I was there, like picking out water, and then I kind of zoomed out of it and was able to see, you know, top layer, middle layer, or f top layer, first floor level, and then underground, these military men that were just standing there at attention, they seemed to have on army uniforms, or, you know, just military uniforms, can't say army but just military camouflage uniforms on and they were all just standing in position waiting for to to be like given orders to do whatever okay and they're all like shoulder to shoulder they were like kind of like packed up in there okay uh standing at attention just wait it was like they were just waiting for the the go ahead or the order to kind of like be released and um <sighs> later on that day I want to get some water all right you guys I'm gonna stop it right here uh I did mirror a video in which the audio sucked and uh but it basically talked about I believe us going to war with China. Um, I was told to stock up, and I actually did go to uh, the store that day, and I continued to actually st stock up. Um, Brother Chad mentioned here in the comments that you know the water, of course, could rep represent the Holy Spirit and the V eight, the blood. So not only are we preparing spiritually. Um, but uh, we should f be stocked up, you guys. There's so much things going on right now. Communications. I think I started to get into that. Uh, Sister Kim put out a, a, a video about communications being cut first. Um, I mirror a video. This guy talks about a few things. And I feel like China was one of the things that he... He mentioned, of course, that's a real possibility. Then we have Russia. Uh, they, them two are um, either or. Um, those two are allies. and But I want to show you something now in this here. We, there's a real possibility. Okay, look at this. Everyone, Johnny Storm, don't speak. India orders military to stock up on more reserves over Chinese incursions. Well, these are, this is a story that is not being talked enough or spoken enough about in the mainstream. But while everybody's focused on the riots and everybody's focused on so-called pandemics, this is going on. 
In a high-level meeting chaired by Prime Minister Modi last night, the nation's armed forces have been ordered to stock up on more reserves. A green light's also been given to the Indian Navy to deploy its assets to the Strait of Malacca region, where it can counter Chinese warships. The Strait of Malacca is one of the world's major maritime choke points and a primary shipping route for Chinese vessels. And indeed it is, as you can see, we're trying to get goods across this way through to the Indian Ocean and beyond. That's kind of an important strait. According to sources, a call for coordination has been made for the three services, Army, Navy, and Air Force, to prioritize requirements when, where necessary. Similarly, Air Force assets, which include over 100 fighter jets, have also been asked to move up to forward locations. Now keep in mind, the Chinese have also been encouraging Pakistan to attack should war break out over here. So there's that to keep in mind, and I'm sure India has that in mind as well. In the meantime, they have no choice but to deploy assets towards this region. Sources added that forces are operationally ready for intensive fighting, but the order to stock up on ammunition reserves is for more than a 20-day war. This I'm going to stop the video here and leave it there. Um, he talks about different areas and different irons in the fires all over. Uh, uh, in the fire all over um, while we're being distracted with the pandemic and the, uh, the the protest okay this is a relatively short video um, he covers that region um, he does go on to talk about North Korea South Korea um, here it says detentions are rising among the populations of India and China as both sides seek rec retribution for alleged offenses the north koreans are making moves and into demilitarized zones as well and i think he meant to say stay prayed up and prepped up yes we here we need to stay prayed up and prepped up anything could happen we got civil war we got wars and rumors of wars afar uh we have threats against america we have russia um um, I know I saw uh, a video about Russia. They're always, always testing us, doing flyovers. They're always up near Alaska. They're always doing this. They're always doing that. Okay, you guys? It's just the season of wars and rumors of wars. And then, of course, the Middle East. Um, always not prep only spiritually but if you can and if you're able to make sure that you have things and items on hand water food um if communications ever get cut for whatever reason emp or you know whatever excuse gonna, they're gonna use um stores and things of that nature will be shut down okay um there are many irons in the fire right now and then we have hurricane season, okay? Um, that's <sighs> started June 1st, I believe it was. And it's already been active. We've already had two storms before then. The Lord showed me that we would have an unusually active hurricane season. I will leave a video from yesterday that I watched about this low pressure that has been continuously bringing rain in the North Carolina and South Carolina area. Uh, he, he said it and he hit the nail on the head. It seems as if they're testing their their waters to see if they can create. I mean, he, he, he was convinced and many others were that, you know, they're pushing it to see if they can create a hurricane over land. Okay, and I feel like they had some flash, flash flood, flood warnings. Us being on the coast, I'm one mile, I'm surrounded by water, I'm one mile from water, okay, and we're at sea level or belize, below sea level um, in Charleston, okay. North Charleston is nine feet. I feel like Charleston is at sea level, um, Mount Pleasant. Ala Palms, I feel like we're at sea level. So it doesn't take much for us to rain uh, and flood. Just takes a little bit of rain, just a little bit, just a couple inches, okay, for our streets and everything else to be flooded. I'm going to leave this video below. Um, 
I'll leave the original video below so that you could go to that that link. Um, I think Sister Kim did a communications video, and I haven't watched it yet. Wow, my printer just printed something after <laughs> like 30 minutes, okay? Um, all right, I will talk with you later. Stock up. They are being told to stock up on war reserves. How interesting. And that's exactly what I heard in the dream. Stock up. Okay?